Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In the land of Sino US technological competition, ASML's ban on DUV exposure machines is like a heavy hammer, hitting the weakness of China's chip industry. The United States has imposed export controls on ASML, attempting to use this as an opportunity to prevent the further development of China's semiconductor industry. What kind of impact will this invisible war bring to SMIC? How can Chinese companies overcome difficulties and achieve a breakthrough when facing huge challenges? This time, the United States has imposed special restrictions on ASML's DUV lithography machines. In chip production, machinery is an indispensable part, just like a cooking pot and a pan. Without them, food cannot be produced. An ASML, the only EUV lithography machine manufacturer in the world, has long been eyeing the United States and has taken targeted measures to try to block China's chip industry. The deep ultraviolet lithography machine, known as the mother of chips, can manufacture advanced chips for smartphones, computers and other electronic products. The lithography machine is a high-tech and difficult equipment. Currently, only a very few companies in the world have it. ASML is the leader in this field. The purpose of the US blocking the news is clear, just to prevent China from catching up. However, ASML is not an outsider. Under the tough measures of the United States, ASML executives soon started a one-day tour of China. They met with senior executives of SMIC in Beijing and visited a semiconductor manufacturing company in China. The trip was for a clear goal. ASML wanted to find a way for SMIC to continue to provide 1980-type lithography machines without any constraints. Why is the 1980 lithography machine so critical? Although its performance is not as good as the most advanced EUV lithography machine, it can be of great use in many completed processes, especially in the low-end and mid-end semiconductor fields. ASML wants to send a message to China, that is, although there are export controls on China, China is still very happy to have close contact with them. SMIC is not doing nothing, but it has imposed some technical restrictions and limitations on it in the United States. Therefore, the company quickly made corresponding adjustments, increased investment in scientific and technological research and development, and increased the localization rate of production. SMIC is very clear that the only way to gain a foothold in this technological competition is to improve its own technical capabilities. SMIC is constantly increasing its investment in technology, while also strengthening cooperation with local manufacturers to establish a strong Chinese supply chain. This move not only enhances SMIC's independent research capabilities, but also enhances SMIC's ability to withstand external risks. As the saying goes, SMIC has been working hard to improve its capabilities to meet external challenges. SMIC has continuously made a lot of efforts in product layout and research and development and has made significant progress. For example, the company has been in 14 there has been great progress in NM and lower processes. Although there is still a certain gap compared with the world's advanced level, SMIC has indeed taken an effective path in independent innovation. In terms of market demand, with the rise of emerging technologies such as 5G, artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things, the semiconductor industry worldwide is also showing a rapid development trend. SMIC has conducted in-depth research on the market and precise research on customer needs, and has made timely strategic positioning to ensure that it can achieve rapid technological innovation in the future development process and apply it to corporate competition. SMIC is committed to extensive cooperation and exchanges around the world to enhance its own scientific and technological strength and enhance its global competitiveness. Through technology introduction and joint research and development, we will develop new technologies and new products with foreign counterparts 
to improve our independent research and development capabilities. For example, we have cooperated with internationally renowned research institutes, such as IMEC, the combination of ARM, and other companies, has enabled SMIC to obtain a lot of cutting-edge technology and creativity internationally. This strategic partnership not only strengthens SMIC's strength, but also further expands the company's global competitiveness. SMIC is gradually becoming an important player from a follower company in the world. In the context of increasingly complex market conditions, SMIC has established a mature chip development strategy, focusing on integrated circuits that have been tested by the market, mature technology, and stable demand. This strategy has enabled SMIC to stabilize in a short period of time and laid a good foundation for future development. Mature chip is a chip with relatively mature technology and a wide range of applications. SMIC has been committed to continuous investment in research and development and optimizing manufacturing processes to ensure that the quality and quality of the developed chips can meet market demand. This strategy not only reduces the company's operating risks, but also ensures the company's customer base and market share. SMIC adopts a diversified business strategy. Through collaboration with many suppliers, risks are shared and a stable supply chain is built. For example, in order to ensure the diversification and stability of the supply chain, SMIC not only relies on local suppliers for raw materials, but also seeks raw materials from Southeast Asia, Europe and other places. In addition, in order to ensure on-time delivery, SMIC has adopted a flexible freight model. Practice has shown that this method can handle various emergencies well and reduce the possibility of failure. In the future development process, SMIC technology will unswervingly adhere to the path of independent research and development, continuously improve the level of Chinese chips, and at the same time increase exchanges and cooperation with local manufacturers to promote the research and development and use of Chinese equipment and materials. China will continue to improve its technology, improve work efficiency, reduce costs, expand international and domestic markets, and make its own efforts for the development of China's semiconductor industry. The technological game between China and the United States is like a river flowing upstream. Only by perseverance can it survive in the storm.